Amanda hug and kiss. Ring. Wei, ni shi shi. Wei shi me ni gei wo da di an hua. Do you see? Amanda hug and kiss. People think that ah.、Uh, Speaking Chinese is stupid, but it's coming real handy for me. Wei ni shi shi wei shi mi ni gei wo da di an hua. It's something that that was perfect right from the start when I learned it when I was living in China. You know, wei it means hello, yeah, what? And ni shi shi, who are you? Wei shi ma ni gei wo da di an hua. Why are you calling me? And you say it in an angry manner. And、uh, hey, you know. So I put that in my my little、uh, voicemail. That's on my voicemail for all the scammers. Yeah, scammers. And it works when they call you in person too. When we were still on landlines, you'd pick it up and say that, and they just um ah、uh, ah,、uh, and they go I I and they hang up. If somebody doesn't have their number coming through for me, I don't know who they are. I don't. They don't bother too much with voicemail once they realize that they've got the wrong number. Because who's going to imagine that I'm speaking Chinese? But Amanda hug and kiss. Imagine Amanda hug and kiss.、Uh, Commented, said a really nice comment about me just now. Hey, how you doing? This one's for you,、um, and I want you to know, Amanda, hug and kiss. I know where you got that. I know where it came from. I saw the episode of The Simpsons when I was a kid. It made me laugh very hard because it relates to my own life. But there's Bart. He's always screwing with Mo down at the bar and making prank calls. And who didn't grow up making prank calls before somebody could just hunt you down and kill you without a little bit of information first? But there's the one episode where Bart was in 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 lust for the babysitter. She was older, and then Jimbo comes over, and he's sitting there, and he's like,、ah, and Bart's standing up over the rails, going,、ah, and he said,、ah, and、uh, Jimbo said, "Oh man, my shirt's starting to chafe. You mind if I take it off?" And the babysitter, she's like, "Sure, okay." And so he takes his shirt off. This skinny Jimbo with his beanie on, he's sitting there,、ah, and Bart's going, "Huh?、Ah, she's mine, but she's too old." He just doesn't want Jimbo Jimbo banging the one he wants to bang. It's the way it goes. And pretty soon, so Bart he picks up the phone right there, and、uh, and um, I'm I'm doing a video. It's the step Danny taking out the trash. He picks up the phone while Jimbo's sitting there topless, while the girl's supposed to be doing her homework, and he calls Mo, and he calls, and he does with one of his basic crank calls like he does, but this is strategy. He says, uh, uh, "Bart, uh, hello, hello, I'm looking for Amanda, hug and kiss." So、uh, there, Mo. Puts down the phone. He's holding. He's screaming to the bar. He says, "Amanda, hug and kiss. Is there an Amanda, hug and kiss?" He says, "Why can't I find Amanda, hug and kiss?" And everybody in the bar laughs at him, and he's a fool, and he's got a temper. And he says, "If I ever find you, I'm gonna cut your guts out and rip your throat." And blah 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 blah. blah. He says threats. So Bart, there he says, "Oh well, I am at," and he gives the address to the house they're at. And here, <laughs> Mo's like, "I got you now." And so he goes, and you can see him 
running through the fields under the moon, his silhouette just wha wha wha, and he's carrying a butcher knife, and he's going ha. And there, there, I, I hate to ruin it for anybody who hasn't seen it, but Amanda Hagen Kiss, I know where your name came from. And right there, Jimbo's like, oh man. It shows inside the house with her doing her homework and him topless. He says, now my pants are starting to chafe. Uh, yeah, and you know how it goes. I didn't ruin it. But it's about prank calls. And when I was about 14 years old, me and another kid, Aaron Hunziker, he had a little a microphone that you could, to his uh, boombox thing that you could record. You put the microphone up to the earpiece on the phone on the landline, and you talk through the mouthpiece, and, and it recorded, and you could hear everything that was going on. And so we would make crank calls. And my dad had talked about one at his factory where somebody said Jack Mehoff and everybody laughed. And so for this one call that we recorded, um, we called Glenn's Market Family Centers. Front desk answers, thank you for calling Glenn's Market Family Centers. How can I help you? And in a little kid's voice, I, I tried to do a little kid's voice. <clears throat> I said, hello? I said, my daddy went shopping there a long time ago, and I'm getting nervous. Could you call him, please? And she says, oh, sure, sweetie. What's his name? And I said, Jack Mehoff. And we've all heard this one by now, but it took a lot of years to get out. And, and she says, sure. And you hear her in the background on the PA going, jack me off to the front off front desk, please. Jack me off to the courtesy counter. And you heard people laughing in the background. We're like, we did it. It was so we got him. And then a couple of years later, yeah, I would have been, I'd have been 16. I got a job cleaning the bakery in Glens Mark and Family Center, the dirtiest job you'd ever do. It's not that it's dirty, it's just that all the dough sticks to the floor. You gotta scrape, you gotta hose, you got it's not an easy job. It's filthy. But you'd go and I would because I was the only guy in there doing it, I would take my breaks on my own. And I was sitting at the end of these long tables in the break room at Glenn's family. The markets and family centers, the Katz family, Freeman's. And there were, there were, you know, cash register people, women sitting at the other end and they were talking and I was sitting there drinking my Pepsi. I didn't smoke, so I wasn't smoking. I'd just sit there and just kill 15 minutes, you know. They make you sit down. And... They were talking and laughing. I wasn't paying attention and it like Cherry's cocktail party effect, what they call selective attention, selective hearing. You can hear a rabble, 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 rabble of a crowd if you're at a party and you'll never hear a word they say unless somebody says your name and it jumps out and it catches your attention. You look and say, who's talking about me? That's how it works. They, I caught attention to what they were saying. And the one woman was saying, you remember uh, when Deb took that phone call a couple of years ago, jacked me up, and they were all laughing. And I went, <gasps> and I screamed out inadvertently. I said, that was me. It was like I'd seen the fruit of my labor. It always comes around somehow. And uh, they all just got really mean and they went, ha! One woman said, Deb's on vacation. When she comes back, she's going to come find you. And then I quit the job. Amanda hug and kiss. Totally entertaining. Why can't I find Amanda hug and kiss?